<laughs> all right then. Who? All right. Well, I'm flying, so I don't know. Locating I this don't know is what else, right. everyone else does. Location is really not a problem. If anybody would like to actually like do a search on the geysers geothermal energy or something like that you will see some amazing pictures in fact we'll even have you decide which one is the most dramatic which one would be coolest to draw for the basilisk to be standing on top of oh i see i've got some pictures of the power plants mm-hmm so he could be standing right on top of one of these multi steam stack. That is pretty cool. I know. I, know. I, I was reading I about no this. No, was up there. I, I was reading about this, and I was saying, "You've got to be kidding me! This is super villain like Disneyland." <laughs> <You know? laughs> right. Let me see if I can find the best. Oh, this looks. This looks nice. See now, now you guys are now you guys are into it. That's cool. Yeah, I actually would would say that there is a human figure standing center stage on that long edge in between those sticky uppy things, you know, outlined by the steam behind them, arms mm -hmm. flung wide in a in a uh, you know in, on hands glowing in bursts of energy that are bigger than a person each. Um, right. You know, with the. Uh, Yes, like that. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, they seem to have a bunch of uh, stacks or something <clears throat> all in a row. The Our really fun part actually... is getting thrown into the bot in the middle of that. <laughs> are, are, are we assuming that? Can Komodo Dragon carry us? Not really. While he flies? Oh, well, wait, wait. He's super, super strong. Uh, yeah. I am super strong. If we, if you want to do it that, if we want to say that, then I'm piggybacking. Well, piggybacking's kind of odd. I would suggest that, like, you could pick up a tree or something, or, like, a big old, oh, yeah. a big old object, and they could easily, you know... Hang on to it. Hang on to it, yeah. <laughs> Sitting on, it, sitting on it is actually sort of funny. Grab yeah, a spare yeah. visitor's couch from the That's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Or lovesy. Anyway, that's what we're doing. Uh, now to get there, um I'm going to say that that, that that's out of your region. You guys are gonna have to travel a bit. Um okay. and uh perhaps some interesting combination of Power Star teleportation and Komodo Dragon flight could be involved. Mm -hmm. All right. That's, that's what I'm talking about, and especially because we're talking 72 miles north of yeah, San Francisco. Okay. So if you get within a certain distance, then Komodo Dragon's got it covered from that point on. Okay. Well, so what are you... It sounds like you're kind of angling to get a... What time will we get there? Relatively? Not really. No, that's not really what's interesting me. What's interesting me is just the visuals okay. of how this is done. And also, even though I'm not trying to force it, ne necessarily looking at your powers, how you would have to work together to make this work. Um, okay. What I, what, I, what I had imagined is, is that uh, Komodo Dragon would carry us most of the way on this object that he acquired. Right. And then I could... Uh, uh, I could uh, like teleport, advance out to one location. True. Yes, the strategic positioning through yeah. Power Star. Toom, oh, there we go. Toom, yeah. and I go here. You know, so yeah. they go toom 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 in the right places. That's actually pretty awesome. That's good. So we're all yeah. we're all spread out strategically right. instead of driving right. all the right. 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 I get you. Yeah. yeah. All right. So tell me about this strategic positioning relative to the steamy thing. <laughs> okay. Hey, I have a I have a question. So Power Star is powers are kind of common knowledge, right? In ish. the way that we talked about in the other game, very ish and perhaps moderated through a plethora of radio shows, TV shows, and That's fine. comics. So I, that, I just want to get to, if I can at least understand that one of your deals is flashing people, I mean, excuse me, <laughs> confusing people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, then 
hit. Uh, I'm good at hitting people when they are confused. Right. <laughs> right. So, that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. Our, our core core strategy is. Right. The teleporting, okay. disorienting punch, and then the human missile coming in. Yeah, yeah. Sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, that would be interesting. Mm -hmm. I will will give that a try. Um, I was also thinking about if this is a, a villain that you that knows you, uh, that you'd be our front man for drawing his attention. What do you think? I've definitely got a score to settle with him. That's true. So I come in first. You guys, he, you you would you would you would be the most visible. One middle you would be positioned in the most visible starting spot yeah yeah all right and then uh advance and i can flank either side sounds like a plan so advance mm -hmm. get big right yes don't say it don't say it all superpowers are subject I to heinous puns, right? Because it's it's the meme that the yeah, meme right. that, that's going around is get advanced. Yes, you don't know? say the meme. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, and a bit of tactics you may want to hold off on until uh, Komodo has attracted the guy's attention. Yeah, yeah. I'll keep out of sight until yeah. I, until because I have he's it. he's he's a little bit squishy if he's not. Bulk right. So, oh. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to say on nine. Well, uh, at this at this I'm point, gonna, I'd probably hold my action. Even if I yeah, I'm, go first. So. I'm the distraction. So, well, are we deployed? We are. Boom! Boom! Okay. Boom! So on my nine, I'll be like. Uh, Spend the endurance for all that teleportation, by the way. Oh, oh boy. What? Oh, it's only two. If, I, okay. if you hold an action, if you have a held action and then you abort, do you abort the held action or do you still abort the, the action that's coming up? Um, you would abort the held action. Okay, good to know. Mm -hmm. um, I will also... Uh, hold my action, but I will say, hey, asshole, what you doing? Ah, there you go. Well, what you're going to do is clearly, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not even sure you need a presence attack. You will definitely get well, that attention, I but go ahead. But you want one? Can't, I can't presence attack him. That's right. The new rule. That's right. Okay. So, uh, still, though, yes, you have the, 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 I shall describe the basilisk somewhat more clearly. Uh, I don't care what they said in that movie. Capes are cool. <laughs> um, and in this cape, it's one of those capes that, uh, uh, it's not actually attached to the arms, or at least not in any kind of really uh, overly obvious way. Um, but, uh, when, when the basilisk like moves an arm up like that, the cape comes with it and extends a point out, like along this edge, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. right? Like, uh, like around. So it's almost like two crescent blades. Um, yeah. Like Moon Knight. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. In the old, um, the old. and so the, uh, and, and so a little bit like that, um, the there is the 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 basilisk's head is not a hood like a monk's hood instead um it is however a close fitting garment um that renders everything kind of midnight metallic black even though there are human features okay um, they are they are mostly dominated, however, by the eyes, which are intensely, yeah. you know, evilly drawn, and and right. actually emit glaring light. 
Um, right. But the hands it, are emitting the very same light, and that is extremely powerful. There's some kind of swept back, pointy trip. Whether it's a crownish thing or a hornish thing going on, there's but there's four points coming off of the head and sweeping to the back. Okay. In some kind of Jack Kirby-ish new god slash Asgard thing, only not so big. Gotcha. When they stopped drawing Loki's headdress like stag antlers and started making it kind of more you know yeah, car yeah, detailing no. kind of thing you know it's like that okay um with the uh with the color scheme being gold and black right That's for this character and is is perceiving a uh, an action i forget um yes it yeah. depends on the nature of the perceive just how much of an action it is um okay to perceive someone about to attack you, that's actually a zero-phase action. You don't lose any action. The very fact that you succeed means you are able to act. All right. But well, if you're like, hmm, what about this? It kind of depends on what it is you're doing. Like a full detective okay. work roll or something? Full phase. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Um, okay, well, I'll still hold the action. In defense of my character concept, though, I'll point out that just seeing energy-related phenomena is constant so yeah exactly so in that case give me a perception roll right now because you do have that awareness it is on it is a power that is a success okay well no problem the basilisk is <clears throat> doing there are two forms of energy here one is the energy that is entering the basilisk like an antenna right the other one is the energies of the earth itself, which are developing and marshalling and pressurizing underneath the basilisk, not only in this one thing that he's standing on, but on the right. interconnected ones through the entire steam bed that will secondarily go off as well. Right. Um, by the way, the amount of lethal force potentially released by this would vaporize substantial amounts of material like okay. what you're made of so understood <laughs> um, and incidentally unless they have some way to withstand it the basilisk too right right in other words you're like and he's gonna survive this how Okay, well, I stand by my previous word balloon and held action. Excellent. Okay. Um, so, Power Star? So, you, did you, you talk to him, right? Right. And the basilisk is, you know, is responding and, and says, uh, you know, you know time, to cook, time to cook the lizard. <laughs> In fact, here he is, everybody. Time to hook time to cook the lizard. Are you getting this? Are you getting this? See so he's on air. It's like he's playing to an audience. Yeah. Oh yeah, I need to turn on my GoPro. <laughs> How heinous! He's playing to an audience. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Click. I think I, I'm just I'm just going to uh, teleport behind mm -hmm. the facility, behind Basilisk, if I can. Um, or well, I'm not sure exactly how far I can get, but I'd like to do a half move and stop and and take in the scene, basically. Mm. To see if there's anybody else supporting Basilisk. Right. If there's any Kerchunk, bystanders, that, you show yeah. up in in the in the opposite side of that long mm -hmm. rectangular um, structure, um, mm -hmm. and it it is very very steamy, um, but you're concentrating on what you could see. Make a perception roll because this is actually kind of interesting. And I made it. Excellent. 
um, what has risen out of uh, the steam uh, are um, three tennis ball sized objects have risen up and they uh, are then they swoop in what appears to be directed flight um, and they distort as they swoop so they aren't just like spheres that move they actually like elongate when they and then only when they stop do they become mostly spherical again um, they're not bubbles you've seen bubbles they uh -huh. are some sort of uh, difficult to look at vortex each one is a shifting vortex of, of energy um, and there are three of them and they have appeared in a formation that is basilisk supportive Basilisk, what did you just say? Basilisk, the the position is triangulates on the basilisk in a way that could easily defend against anything incoming. So it's like he's got some hovering right. objects around him. Okay. I do not want to give away or at least attract attention to myself yet, so I'm not going to yell anything out. Okay. That's the end of my turn, I believe. Um, And in the case of uh, the basilisk, who goes next... Um, yeah. Successfully uh, does. Oh, crappy roll. Just five body. Um, does five destructive body damage to uh, the safeguards of the facility. So, uh. therefore. Um, you know, the, 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 the steam suddenly like doubles in intensity. Um, Can you... and the, and the basilisk like is, is laughing and say, and, and, and says for the undiscerning reader, you know, four miles down is a bed of magma time to see what color it really is. What did he actually do? Um, like, right. Phys physically, what is it? Physically, like? what he actually did was to, um, draw down that that space power into a column okay. behind him that drilled straight down into the facility. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> so. Um, I want you to make it's your awareness... I want I want the Komodo dragon to make one of zero phase awareness check again for something. This is actually related to the one you were making a bit that's, ago. That's a fail. Okay. Um, so finally, advance. Okay. Um, from his hidden position again, uh, he wants to make a intelligence check, maybe a full action intelligence check on how, if it's possible, to somehow dis disrupt this transmission. Like, from what he knows about this, the space energy uh, and everything, uh, the space needle energy, uh, would, would there be something that, that, that would weaken the signal or, you know, disrupt the signal? Um, it would have to be somebody who, for whatever reason was able to attune to it and make it go and have another intention actually direct it so the basilisk could not. It would have to be a psychic battle of will ah. over who is going to be making this energy do something. Um, and uh, you, since you just made that intelligence roll, there... <laughs> The two individuals who have highly developed brains in terms of the usage of their powers, and one of which is operating as such an antenna, are right in front of you. The Komodo dragon is a potential recipient. Okay. Okay. And in fact, probably kind of already is without knowing it. You have not yet yes. been subjected to his ignorant speech about how he taps into the reptilian side of his brain for his powers. <laughs> um, but anybody with a science background would know that that is flatly bullshit. 
So the Komodo dragon has no idea what the source of his powers are, actually. But you know what? I think Vince just figured out what they are. Okay. All right. <laughs> Rod's been looking forward to that one for a while. <laughs> All right. Well, that's. I guess that's my phase. Mm -hmm. Is he's a feeler, not a <laughs> right. <Thinker. laughs> All right then. What shall we do when it comes to the recovery? First of all. So, and I think that actually brings everybody back up to full because you guys didn't do that much. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. um, and so then uh, we've got in phase two. The basilisk is going to uh, deliver the second full force strike upon the facility he's standing on, which actually could well be enough to breach this one. Um, and the question is, um, the question is whether you're going to use that held action or not to, to disrupt that action in some way. Yeah, I guess I've got to. So he's just using this energy drill. Right. And do I have any kind of... Let's not ask a question. Let's just... Uh, let's just fly into... Do I intuit my ability to possibly <laughs> use my mental potential to... That was that was the perception roll that you keep failing. That was failing. the perception roll. Okay. Yeah, you you keep failing that one. All right, well, I'll just punch him. There you go. Right. Fly and punch. Excellent. The flying is not a problem with a couple of endurance, and the punch, is this going to be a move by, or are you just flying up to him for a punch? I think fly up to him and punch, since accuracy is an issue here. Yes, and what is your... Um, what is your... What am I trying to say? Marshall. Is this a Marshall strike? Uh, no, I ended up not being able to get uh, Marshall martial okay. arts into here. It's just straight up punch. Okay. Although that would have been... It was an agonizing decision about what I was actually going to do with that extra 10 points. But this is what I do. We'll see if he turns invisible, then if I can. Am I making the roll? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is, the roll is 10 with a CV of 7. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and go ahead and, and uh, roll some damage. Roll some damage. I will I roll my damage and an off-color die for knockback. All right. Five knockback. Notice I said that first. That's right. Uh-huh. <laughs> damage is kind of bullshit, though. That's 10... 22 stun and... 22 uh, knockout. That's right. 22 knockout. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 22 knockout and 7 body. But quite a launch. Yes. Yes. And so, definitely. Um, so you fly up and I'm going to say this is one of those curving uppercuts that they do in the yeah, comics, right? Yeah, yeah, and so uh, so he's going to do the full backwards, you know, sprawl. Um, as I keep saying he, but I would like to point out that the contours of the Basilisk's body are in a lot of artificial shadow from that okay. cloak, which okay. is, that's that's what I wanted from the cape. Um, gotcha. And so I'm you, it's not drawn in a way that you actually get a good look at the person's body. Gotcha. Um, a lot of flat black silhouette. For example, right. Um, so, uh, bam, and so it, he, he actually vanishes into the steam of the okay. of the the, the place, um, gotcha. and um, wow. Okay, cool. has the next action, isn't stunned, um, and uh, you have flown up and punched, so you can't right. 
go any further, and you're going to be right basically where they were standing. Right. Right. So having he's been punched a long way. Right. Um, yeah. And so therefore, um, is he flying as well? No. No. So um, right. So he's been knocked in there, um, but you can't see where 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 he went. Oh, um, he actually went down the into steam. yeah in down into the Whoa. chamber there with all the broiling steam and everything, and okay. so the uh, so he's somewhere between you and exactly where Par Power Star is standing on the opposite uh, okay. area. So what I'm trying to think is what he's going to do precisely. There are a couple of things. Um, what he does that's a zero phase action is to make a particular speech. Um, you guys can't hear that speech. It has been brought, as you, he's not speaking to you and he's not in your immediate perceptions. Um, in the future, you will learn that uh, they're playing, he's, he's playing the victim card. You know, here he is, you know, come to, right. come to, to you know, uh, you know, come to stop me. Um, he actually, not just me, us. He's referring plural, us. Um, as for what else he does, not much at the moment. Interesting. Um, there's, there's bad, horrible, crackling noises from down in there, though. Something structural and bad is happening down in there. So, next... Uh, is um, comes on three. So the first person on three is going to be Power Star. Okay. <clears throat> is there any obvious damage happening to the uh, to the to the stack, the exterior of the building? Um, yeah. As a matter of fact, it is. Some of them. Some of them are. It's starting to buckle. Um. That sounds like something I might be able to at least spot reinforce with oh, okay. a nice Higgs field. You learned your lesson back to the space signal, right? Keep the uh -huh. integrity of the mm -hmm. area together. Um, and mm -hmm. I, I kind of like the idea that just for special effects purposes, you spread your fingers and like different rays go. And even because it's an area of effect, right? Yeah. So you're actually kind of spot welding specific spots. That way, uh -huh. and it's in technically the area, but mm. it looks cooler that way. <laughs> so okay, um, so yeah, you you can and you can easily see that he's keeping the integrity of the the structure uh, intact um, while it is under duress. So cool. Spend the endurance. The next person to go is Komodo Dragon again. Who has okay. used a held action before, and that he saved from twelve and or nine, and gets to go now. Right. So, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, perceive the shit out of this energy again. Go right ahead. I'm get a turn. Mm -hmm. There it is. There it is. Excellent. Uh, you that surge of energy that you felt before, you feel it again, and you recognize okay. that the basilisk is channeling it. You two are in partly due to your differing opinions. Are in a neurological zero sum game with who's going to actually master and control this. You perceive it as the dragon. You perceive this as the ultimate reptilian brain that you had never, that you actually dug deeper right. into a psychic and historical and ancestral level of the reptile. Nice. That's how you perceive it. So it's like the dragon inside you has awoken is kind of the way sounds, you feel it. Sounds like a splash page. Mm-hmm. Gigantic dragon. Mm-hmm. Well, you're the artist and Tiny. it's your goddamn character, Tiny. so you're going to get all the splash pages anyway, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, so uh, that I'm going to call a full action. Fair enough. But that's a yep. big deal, right? <laughs> so then the next person to go is going to be advance. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and grow times four. So I'm going to activate a fourteen or less. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, we're outside. You know, let's let's get advanced, <laughs> bro. Yeah, I was going to say if you start, the rest of us aren't going to have any choice. 
Well, uh, I rolled a 15. Ooh. So, um, with all this energy going around, perhaps it has disrupted me. So, this hasn't happened yet. So, I grow at times two. But right, so he's growing and he's going to get bigger, but... But it fractures off and energy's spilling all over the place and three mo there's now three advances <laughs> um, all at growth two right all at growth two so um is that still is that still a zero phase action the instant change yes or well it's not okay i don't think it's instant change i think it's just a slot in your multi-power that you're shifted yes to. right so so is that half a phase action to do that or no okay then um you've got your full well, action yeah uh and i guess we will make our way towards uh towards the action and um can i can i do an assist uh on power stars reinforcement uh, yes, you can. You, yes, you can. Um, it's uh, technically... What you'd have to do is hold your action until the next time he acts, and then it goes off. Then your roll okay. will come in. Okay. So you're setting yourself up. Now, are you saying that there are three of you all performing, three of me. Uh, performing related actions that will assist Power Star? Can, can I do different actions? If they're... I send one to go fight and two to help? I'm going to have to look at the power as you define it. What did you use for that? What What was the mechanic? Um, let's see. This was maybe um, uh, Alan can help me with this here. It says three separate versions of Giant Self with a plus one mod. Um, no endurance, involuntary limitation, the triggered only when growth of activation fails, and the turning off is tricky. So... Right. Um, built with duplication, I suppose. There is no duplication in this rule set. Right. We, so use the, a, so that's, we use the that's separation the advantage. One. What you have to do is decide what is the power that is separated. I'll tell you more about how to duplicate this. How you, you can't say just myself. You have to say what power is represented in action when these yeah. things occur. What power is it? That is being used. Okay, well, it's it's under the it's growth. Based on growth. It's right. On growth. Right. So it's the right. So basically, yes, you are able to utilize all the things that you do because you're grown, which is the increased strength and, and, and movement and stuff like that. It's just that they operate in three separate arrangements. So yes, you could hit. Yes, you could lift. Yes, you could move. And yes, they can be different. Okay. Okay, then. Um, then one one will go and, you know, be around where Komodo Dragon is. The other two will be hold their actions to assist with. With uh, with okay, with whatever sounds power good. Stars doing. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to say is that at that height, it isn't, and at that strength, it isn't going to be any trouble at all to just jump up onto the lip of the structure right where Komodo the Dragon is. Right, so you are joined by a 12-foot tall advance. Advance? Mm-hmm. On four, uh, all of you, th the three of you go again. Okay. So, and so the three of you can now do a coordinated action. Right. What is it? Ooh, exciting. Well, well I we're, all, we're all standing near the uh, crumbling facility, so... Or on it, actually. So, yes. On it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, why don't we reinforce it once again? Um, how can we coordinate here? I could, of course... Uh, 
so the advances could like uh, push things together, and I can I can use the the Higgs field again to to weld things. That's great. That is really great. Right. The trouble is, is that there's three of you and three of these things, and here they come. Oh, those things. Oh, they're on three. Four. Never mind when they're on. Okay. I know when they're on. <laughs> I just know now is when they're hitting. And uh, oh, yeah. one one will zip directly toward Power Star, and Power Star, being his goddamn defensive martial artsy super self, you know, easily, you know, does a... Oh, I know. Th those things where you basically bend backward crazy, so your body's, like, practically horizontal from your knees, <laughs> the right? Matrix, your arms, yeah. yeah, and your arms. Yeah, exactly. You do one, except not in slow mm -hmm. motion. Um, you, basically, uh, you basically do that, and it goes zoosh right past you. Um, whereas the the other two of you are nowhere near so lucky, possibly because you were looking at each other and you didn't know about these things, and he did. Right? I didn't tell him. That's right. And so each of you is taken like a cannonball by each of these things. And so um, Komodo Dragon uh, is going to... Uh, oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go, my little... Where'd you go, my little... little cheat cheat that tells me... How tough you are. Here you are. Yes, indeed. Okay. Sure. So Internal attitude towards these things is disturbing, Ron. Uh, so <laughs> for you, um, you're going to take uh, instantly five dice drop in, five points drop in endurance. Okay. And, oh, man, on two dice? Are you kidding me? Only a three-point drop in strength. And... Um, and then this part, which isn't going to do you much damage, only six stun and two body, almost nothing, but those two body are high impact knockback. So you will be knocked back, okay. you know, seven feet, which is enough to knock you off of the wall of the structure because that's the direction okay. that you were going. So okay. um, then the second is one is... Is he taking stun or knockout? Uh, he takes, sorry, he takes six holes knockout. Right, rewind that. Is that... Is that going through defenses or? It defenses? bounces right off your defenses. You take no okay, damage just whatsoever. Okay. Right, just the knockback so of two of two hexes, and that's all I care about from that. Plus that strength and endurance drain. Okay. Right. So in other words, it doesn't do you a whole lot of damage, but it hits like a bear and hurts. Right. So, in many ways, I'm saying it's an alternate damage based on the uh, loss of strength and endurance. Understood. understood. Right. Because it's that warping energy ball now, isn't it? Right, right. All right, so same thing comes into hitting advance square in the center and in the same direction. Um, and in which case, uh, the one you, that's however... close up there. The one that's close to Komodo Dragon. There's, been, there's three of these things. Each of you has ah, been attacked okay. by one of them. And in your case, interestingly enough, it gets a crappy roll on its high-impact knockback... So it only does one one hex of knockback, and you have growth on, so therefore two levels, so you take no knockback at all. So you have resisted, you know, you, you are not knocked off the wall, um, number one. Number two, much better, lose nine points of endurance and eight points of strength. So we're going to say that actually in knocking Komodo Dragon off the wall... It uh, ends up having less literal impact on him, right, physiologically, whereas you, who withstood the knockback, actually get hit for more of the disruptive energy. Because so that's the just, way the dice bounced. So. So, sorry to be complicated about this. So even though the growth has been duplicated, all of these effects, there's not like three different pools of strength Three different pools of endurance. All that is still one pool. Correct. Right. Mm -hmm. So every, all three of my guys. All three of you gone. guys have the drain, but only that one was knocked back. Okay. Right. Okay. We'll deal with the mechanics of that a little bit later. Sure. Sure. So sure. Um, at the so that's that. But uh, so anyway, yes, these little like zipping around little balls things. Um, now that you've had an up close and personal, each of you make a zero phase. Neither of you were, were not were stunned, 
So each of you make a quick zero phase perception on that. Yes. Yes. And advance? Um, uh, 15. So that misses by one. Right. right. Yes, it does. Because um, you have 9 plus 5 is your, is your, your perception. Uh, the two of you realize that these things are accessible and could be attacked as such. Okay, so they're they're not just right. Those these what these things mean? could be actually taken out. Taken out. Okay. Um, so on the other hand, you do have the basilisks down there doing God knows what. So now, uh, now you can take the actions you were talking about. Although I believe I have grievously harmed your whole coordination situation. Re <coughs> yeah, cause us to reconsider. Anyway. Yeah, although. Yeah, stars... Go ahead. If Power Star is first, then I'm just going to yell the dragon, you know, mm -hmm. go get Basilisk. I'm going to take care of these things. We'll take care of these things, mm -hmm. referring to advance. The advances. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I'm just going to... <laughs> and Thought Balloon, what the hell is that anyway? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I'm just going to move in and uh, Marshall strike one of these things. Oh, excellent. Okay, so you're, it went past you and is looped around, and you're going to... Actually, you're going to have to blink to it, because they're okay. really fast, and it went past you. So you can just blink to it with, like, one endurance, because it's not that far away, and then take your hit. So you go right ahead. Roll. Ooh, a 13. Still, what's your CV? It's seven. Your base CV is eight, but you're doing a martial punch. Mm -hmm. So that's at least a yeah. plus one, isn't it? I don't, uh, I don't have that information in front of me. Okay. Rod? Well, I don't think it is in your new document. Oh, I just, it uses the, the same, I have, in my document, I, I use pretty much the same modifiers as before. Oh, okay. Um, I don't remember what it was exactly, but it's in there. Sorry, I'll, I'll just... Yeah, Marshall Punch, zero offensive plus two defense. Okay, all right. So, um, however, eight on two, eight on six is 13 or less. Oh, there you go. There you go. So roll your damage, uh, your strength damage plus three dice. So with an 18 strength, is that four dice? Yep, so a seven dice punch. Okay. Raw, my heavens. Uh... Let's see here. 24. 34 knockout. And how and much body in particular? Uh, let's see. 7 plus 5. 13. All right. Holy crap. Well, you splatter the energies. You vaporize it. Huh? Um, right. Wow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Quite nice. like that. Yeah. Power Star that does it does a cool move, um, and the, the 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 little glowy energy zip around bash you thing just completely vaporizes instantly. So wow, nice burst around the face. I was gonna say Kirby crackle all the way around on that yeah. one for sure. <laughs> uh, and so um, that leads us to um, Komodo Dragon next. Okay, so I'll be saying that. Thanks for the assist, guys. Mm -hmm. Advance, if you could put one of your cells on holding this thing up still, that'd be a good idea. And then I'm going to try um, to take... Is, is 15, 15 strength is kind of like normal, still kind of normal human strength? It no, is, but it's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. Okay. Oh, his dudes are small now? I get that. Yeah. Well, they're... they're, right. they're yeah, I got drained. Yeah. Oh, that's what happened. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not right. as strong as you um, would like. Yeah. Anyway, that was just a word balloon. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to attempt to harness uh, the dragon with the power of my mind. Make yourself what? a little ego roll. Yeah, I figured it would be that. And that is a success. Uh-huh. Uh, cool. All right. Well, uh, you... Um, Jeez, how is this going to work? You've basically entered into a tug of war 
Okay. So in a lot of ways, there's by making that ego roll, you've got access. And so now it's a matter of your ego versus the basilisk in terms of like wrestling. Right. So you actually, now did you fly down in there or are you just still hovering up or zooping around up around the top of the steam? Uh, zooping around as far as I know. I mean, I don't know if you, I don't know if I get movement on off that or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, did I end? Did I end my turn by doing the ego check? No. Okay. No. I'll I'll sort of slowly hover in, trying to. Uh, well, I guess. I already did an action, so. Not. Yeah, to, but that I'll, is your action, just, basically. I'm just asking what kind of movement is involved. Yeah, slowly, slowly hover into the cone, and I'll just again point out that passively, I. I know what his energy looks like. So. That's right. Yes, you do. Might have a, yes, you do. And I specifically have the concealment right. defeating thing. Exactly. So you actually are, are not uh you're you are not obscured by the steam. You know what's going on, you know where he is. Okay. Um and uh what you see uh is that the basilisk is basically going now to the basically the killing strike of disrupting this facility. Okay. You know, he's rocked it, now he's going to drive straight down. Okay. Um, but and now I am in a tug-of-war with him over the means. That's exactly right. Yes. Um, okay. And to make things even nastier, he's been keeping up a running patter. And it's the same voice that you're familiar with from the blog. It's distorted electronically. You still haven't yeah, heard yeah. the person's proper voice. Um, right, right. And that... Uh, oh, yeah, and I forgot to do a thing. Ouch. Okay. Um, that, 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 that. Um, keeping up a running presentation. Um, and the current presentation is that... Uh, uh, that it is time for people to... Uh, take action. You know the 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 right-minded people, um, the police in particular, the right-minded people, the majority of people who've been chained and muzzled by political correctness, who have been, uh, you know, um, you know, subject to, you know, their freedoms being taken away and all the right-minded people out there, you know what to do. This, what I'm doing here, this is just, this is oh, just no. the sick, this is just our shot across the bows. But one person isn't enough, no matter what their powers are. We are the strength of many. And, but only if you act. Um... The force, delivery, and intensity of what they're saying is genuinely impressive. The sincerity of this comes through. You've never heard the basilisk, who's always kind of had a kind of injured, you know that weird combination of injury and bullying at the same time, that kind of nasal kind of, kind of, What's the word I want? It's, it's almost evasive, almost as they attack, verbally and conceptually. That's the only way I can describe it, some of these radio guys. Passive-aggressive? Well, yeah, seriously, seriously. This doesn't sound passive-aggressive at all. For the first time, you heard the basilisk sound like a leader. Um, so, uh, some something, maybe the basilisk is feeling some of the same majesty that you're feeling, is what I'm trying to say. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, that's happening, and, ooh, shoot, yeah, that's why, seriously. I'll tell you a little bit about the mechanics that I'm playing with over here later. Okay. But, um, clearly, oh, yeah, I forgot about that part. Here. Um, from when you punched him? Take seven knockout and two body that got right through your defenses, unless they're resistant. I do have resistant defense. 
I have uh, five resistant defenses. All right, so two of those stun got through, and the others and the others did not. In okay. other words, touching him hurts. Okay, right. gotcha. Easy for me to forget that and all the other shit. I always make up my characters way too complicated, you know? Yeah. It's like, I, I'm super bad about that. And I'm like, oh yeah, this they could do this, and then that would happen, and then if, you know. So, yeah. um, let's take a... Uh, let's, let's not take a breather. That was um, Komodo Dragon's action. Power Star Komodo Dragon. Poor Advance has been waiting all this time. I'm really sorry, Frank. What no, do you do? No, no worries. Um, Especially as things have gotten... Oh, you guys are so freaky energy-wise. It's like, wait, what? Uh, for the for the tricky reintegration, yes. Um, is that an ego roll? What what role is that? Ego roll in order to make it not go the wrong way. And by go the wrong way it means you wouldn't in reintegrate, and I would have the duplicates each do something that you really don't want to do. Your, your, I see. your psyche would be so fragmented that you would no longer be operating as advance, but as a bunch of odd actions that I might feel like you do. <laughs> okay, okay, gotcha. So you got to make the ego roll, or else you do something odd. Okay, got Times it. Three. Um, you know, why don't we why don't we try to make the ego roll to make it interesting? Because he's probably, this is probably very confusing for yeah, him. Yeah, this is actually the first time this has happened, I think, to advance. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is not what happened in the old days. None of you. This is not a known power of advances. Okay, this is, so this is his energy role, going out of control. Yeah. How, how is the ego rule calculated? Is What's that your PCV? ego? What's your ego? 18. 18. So 18. you have a 13 or less. Okay, that's an eight. So he made it. Excellent. All right. So the the duplicates all recoalesce into advance, probably at one one level of growth is what I'm going to say. The, okay. the baseline. Yeah. The the baseline times times two growth. Is that what it is? Okay. Yeah. The, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So was that a full action? Um. Actually, I think it probably had to be because you had to make that okay. roll and make this yeah. happen. So, all right, yes, you do that. All right. Oof. Um, at, least, yeah. at least I'm back together. Right. You're like, wow, <laughs> what the hell? Right. Teach me to go to four times. <laughs> That's right. Um, by the way, Alan, when he was holding the space needle up, he uh -huh. made that. He made the activation roll. Uh -huh. So they didn't split like he just did now. So um, that puts us now at, look at my little speed chart there. That was there. Okay, excellent. Hello, Basilisk. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right, well, the Basilisk has had enough of your shit because you've come down there, and so is the Basilisk. And so, therefore, um, you are going to be... Oh, shoot. With a 16, the Basilisk fails in their attempt to seize you and give you a nice hug. Okay. I'm, I'm going to say you probably do the whole defensive duck as right. the arms go go like this. More like a swoop. Right. Oh, yeah? Okay. You're going to swoop Just up instead? Okay. Swoop up instead, right. yeah. I think that's more my stuff. <clears throat> Excellent. Well, All right. You're a very Ditko character. The more I'm thinking about it, the more his motions have that curving yeah. elasticity yeah. of a Ditko. So, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've been rereading Ditko Spider-Man. So. Oh, you too, you too, Alan, and you both now, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. excellent. Okay, um, let's go ahead and see what happens in uh, five. Oh, that Wait, sorry, that was five. Then we will go on six. And the first person to go is going to be uh, Power Star and then Komodo Dragon or vice versa, however you want to do it. Uh, are there, there's more of these energy balls around. Two. Power Star them? first. Uh -huh. Okay, Power Star first. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, it seems to me a good idea to get rid of the energy balls, so let's attack another one. Excellent. You're going to blink to another one? 
Okay, uh, yep. they're both, both of the other ones are at the opposite edge. You'll have to teleport across the, the gap uh, okay. to the other edge to stand on and, uh, and, and attack. So, go ahead. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm teleporting into, so I'm actually standing on the air when I attack it. Right. So uh-huh. I'm spending an extra endurance point. For the hover, that. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, let's do a martial strike. A 12. Okay. That ought to do it. Remember, 13 or less. So yes, I do. what? Seven dice. And martial strike. Same one. Not as much body this time, though. Let's see. 29 knockout. Pretty good. And 7 body. That'll do it, though. These things don't take that much. The, what, what you're looking at is an inobvious accessible focus. Okay. So technically, all you have to do is establish some kind of physical control over it, and that's that. So um, wow. just hitting it isn't enough, but as long as you do enough body, then you'll be fine. Let's go ahead okay. and have, uh, let's go ahead and, and yes, and, and have you shatter another one. Um, and so that's Power Star, and then the next is Komodo Dragon. That, me, right? Komodo? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So he's wearing some kind of whippy cloak, right? Right. Uh, I'm going to go for a grab for his, for his cloak. Interesting. Okay. Telling you what I'm doing. All right. That's what they're there for, to be grabbed. (laughs) Give me a grab. Yeah. That is a seven with a CP of seven. Oh, well, I don't do it for sure. All right, you got a grab. Technically, this is just a grab on the person, but if you want to narrate it as the cloak, I'm okay with that. You get all the benefits of a grab on the person. I was trying for for special effects angle where, you know, that's fine. You can. I mean, Where what do you I have in mind? Con- just avoiding contact with him. Oh. Does the, does the cloak do the damage, or does his body do? The right, damage? right, right. Okay, okay. Well, that's a good question. I mean, it is aura, and it is a grab. Um, I'm. You know what? I'm going to cut you a little. Yes, slack. but aren't special effects king run? Yes, they are, and that's why I'm going to cut you a little slack. Okay. Um, yeah, you take the damage, but the damage bounces. It's reduced. Okay, resistant okay, defenses good. cover it. Okay, good. That's not. Yeah, not bad. Okay, All so right. you got him. Um, you can grab and squeeze if you want. Well, you know what? I'll, I'll you'll have to take some more damage if I do that. So I can grab and throw. Right. Yes, you can. Okay, I want to. Is it possible to interpolate movement here to get out of the cone and hurl him? You can't move and do that. You're going to have to stay where you are and hurl him. Okay. Well, I should be a reasonably good shot. I'll try to throw him. I'll throw him on as far a trajectory as I can throw him away from the... Uh, You're pretty damn strong. So, spend your endurance. Which, by the way, you should have burned a fair amount by now. And, um, you know, the well, grab... Uh, right. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Let's see. So I burned... Ten, I should be... A, and okay yeah so I I have myself a 25 uh huh is that right anyway um after the throw okay so not bad so uh you hurl are you like whipping him out of that whole yes structure? i am right trying to whip him as far from the structure as possible excellent um throw me another 8d6 with pleasure because that's when he hits oh come on that is this is four <laughs> one Oh, oh and oh man! Out. So what's the total for knockout? I do want need to know that this time. The knockout is, uh, 10, 20, well, it's still twenty-two, but only four body. 
No, five body because there's a six in there. So 22 knockout, uh, five body. Right, no problem. All right, I'm just keeping track of the knockout on this guy, obviously. So okay. um, so basically, yes, come, uh, the, the, uh, the Basilisk, who incidentally seems to have nothing in the way of knockback resistance or extra mass or anything like that. Um, yeah, is, that's is, what I'm enjoying. Right, right is, is basically thro- physically looks and feels and operates like a regular person, is hurled out and actually crashes into the mountainside and pine trees and stuff like that, mesquite or whatever it is, and, and, and is, is thrown down in there. Komodo Dragon has hurled the Basilisk out. Um, All right. The Basilisk will do something in a moment. Okay. So that is you, and then we have advance. Okay, so can I? Um, how far away did did he fling uh, fling Mister Basilis? He's at the foot I'm, of I'm the. I'm up there. Right, he's he's at the. You're you're on the wall. Is that what you're telling me? Right. He's yeah. at the foot of uh, of the same facility that you're on. If you were to jump, you would land right on him. All right. That's, so, is that a is that a move through, or no? Just a if you attack. want to call it a move through, you can. If you want to call it a move and attack, you can. Okay. All right. So I'll I'll jump down and smash. Excellent. Excellent. Are you growing, or are you staying at two? Right. Oh man, I want <laughs> I want to grow. I want to grow. Normally I would, but, oh, but you've uh, learned your lesson at the but, moment, but, right? But yeah. he's like, you know yeah. what? That was really weird. Right, right. Uh, mm-hmm. This should be good enough, hopefully. Um, now I am rolling my OCV, correct? Mm-hmm. Hang on, this. <laughs> All right, yeah. The pesky guy must have rolled just in time. Oh, no, no. what'd you get? Four, that's a 14. No, that probably but won't do it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, spend all the endurance for your strength, and uh, you do considerable damage to the ground. Gotcha, right. gotcha. <laughs> so, um, the, uh, the Basilisk uh, 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 takes their move, and stands and stands in front of you with the cloak snapping back you know that silhouetted black body with only some contours of humanity visible as highlights with those glowing eyes and says everybody this is it nobody can take those pile driver fists of advance for long i've lasted as long as i can against power star against komodo dragon against advance this is it for me I won't give up. Don't forget me. Oh, boy. So, um, that's, and, and, and he says, uh, you know, and he says, here I go, and basically, you know, smashes into advance with everything that he's got. You know, half your size... Um, yes. Right. Rolling a nine. My DCV is seven, so that hits, right? Right. And then also, um, here's the thing, though. All right. Eleven knockout, three body for that hit, which should should not even you probably shouldn't even feel that, right? Um, similarly, with uh, yeah, with three. Uh, knockback, which I doubt you feel. I don't know how much you... I have minus four. So. Minus four, yeah. So it you know, slams right into you. However, that other damage... Ooh, boxcars. Um, what's, uh, what's your resistant defenses? Do you have any? No. Oh, cool. Wow. Take four body and 12... Hold on, no- hold on. Let, let, me, let me just uh, <laughs> double-check that. I'm kind of Just looking for this. Right. Oh, that's no. Okay. 
Well, that's good because this is very dramatic. The actual physicality of the strike is all that the Basilisk got, and it does nothing against advance. But the Kirby Crackle, on the other hand, lances into you and actually literally disrupts your body, you know, with genuine physical injury for boxcars, four body and 12 knock knockout, no defense. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, so, okay, he, so, so the, uh, this is. One, Basilisk gonna... must have screamed inarticulately as they hit, right? And the, but the response of advance with this arg of genuine agony, right? This... Yeah. The original body that he did was the physical strike. You said that was right. three body. That yeah, but that bounced that. off. But that, that bounced off my regular defenses. Right. So when he hit me, then four body goes right of to more me. different kind of energy entirely. Yes. Right. Okay. Got yeah. it. How much knock knockout was done with twelve? Flow? Twelve. Yeah. So twelve knockout and four body. And Ouch. so right, and that is a blast. So it does do knock back, but I don't roll enough for it to matter to you. So. Okay. All right. So actually, that's that's another panel from hell, right? Yeah, lots of nice. lots of guttural word balloons. Okay, excellent. Um, that puts us that the, that was the end of six, which puts us now at seven. And so, therefore, Power Star, what do you do? Did I miss something, Rod? Did I miss a phase? Um, no, I must have been completely no, my fault. My fault. Okay. Carry on. Carry on. Um, and so that gets us. Uh, yeah, yeah, I thought your fling was on six, but maybe I was wrong. Okay, so, oh, but I'm forgetting somebody, aren't I? There is one more of these things left, and it really doesn't like yes. Power Star at all. Hmm. Uh, Twelve. And, but you've got a CV of, a DCV of eight, don't you? Eight, right. You are, you see, these things do move-throughs, and so, therefore, they're... Chance yeah, of hit yeah, drops, yeah, yeah, yeah. but right. Uh -huh. But on the other hand, when they hit, it's really awful. And I thought three of them on somebody would be great, but Mister Mister Marshall up there, uh, I'm just going to say you do like a cross block and like it zips. You're able to like totally divert it, you know, off of you and kind of a curvy soft block, so it whips around you. So, um, cool. Yeah, yeah. I got to admit the. It's it's kind of funny. I mean, visually speaking, having Power Star shine the most when he does his, you know, when he fended off all the eyeballs and everything like that. You know, it's yeah. the, the martial arts of your character actually comes really comes through really nicely in a lot yeah. of this. Um, so, um, and it's cool because that's all Mike. Yeah, that's why I think I'm responding to it. You know, this is where Mike uh, puts himself yeah. on the line is when right, he does his right. martial stuff. So my my thinking yeah. was that it was it was the one thing uh, outside the restaurant, right? Keep his, yeah, you know. yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so it always comes back to the restaurant, doesn't it? Um, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, on seven, Power Star action. Uh, well, I think I'd better take out this uh, all of course. So, um, hate to be repetitive, but, uh, you know, after, after the block, I'm going to turn around. And right. There you go. Excellent. On it. Beautiful. Go ahead and roll. Well, we'll see how beautiful it is. I rolled an eight, so I'm sure that hit. Roll the, roll the damage and give me the body. And the body will be. These seven. things were not as tough as I was planning. Seven body. Okay. So, um, the next is going to be, um, yes, go, oh, kaboom, that's three out of three. Um, and so the next is Komodo Dragon. Okay, I'm going to try to get this dragon under control. What am I even dealing with? Maybe I just take a moment to try to figure out what I am dealing with. This. He's Excellent. Still... This is going to be your awareness thing. Yeah. Got it? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, your, uh, you remember your grandfather.
You know, this is this is corresponding precisely to dialogues that you had with him that you never understood until just now. Yeah. Um, and so you're like, oh wait, wait, this is I can do this, right? I can I can do this. Yeah. Um, and so uh, what you need to do now is roll your ego as if it were strength. So what's your ego? Well, it's pretty crappy. It's a two. All right. Roll two dice. Uh, that is, am I, what am I counting? Body? Yep. Two. Hmm. Two body. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Am I repairing? So, well, hold on a second there. Um, two body? Yes. Basilisk only gets one. Whew. So, even at your sort of very low level of ego power... Yeah. You were able to wrestle it away. It's something yeah. to work on. <laughs> yeah. Well, you begin to realize maybe I ought to concentrate on this side of myself, right? You know? Right. Um, so, uh, I mean, especially if this shit is actually, like, you know, real. <laughs> I yeah. might want to work on this. So, cool. Um, you have done it in that regard. Let's take a look, then, at advance. What do you do on phase 7? So the the strength drain is still is still on. Right. Does that get recovered in recovery? On recovery, yes. Okay. Well, since uh, since he's not going to be able to really do much uh, without with that strength drain, I think he's going to attempt another level of growth. And that is fine. That is a nine. Oh, shit. Ouch. I think with, uh -huh. the, with the higher growth, it's just going to be the, the back backhand. Attack. Right. Go right ahead. Just, mm -hmm. just, to, just to take him down. Go right ahead. Can you push just yeah. to see if you hit? No. The advance is not a martial artist. <laughs> All right, uh, that was uh, that's an eight. That uh, will hit. All right, that's forty oh. strength, right? Thirty-five or forty-three? Was that it? Uh, thirty-three. Thirty-three. Right. So seven dice. Minus, right. Yeah, but it's minus the strength drain. True. So that was Still, minus right? something. So that's minus eight. So. That's um, 25. Uh, 25. Right. Okay. So five dice, spend a five endurance as well, and roll five dice. Okay, so that's five body. Nineteen knockout. Excellent. All right. You're going to take one body and three knockout, no defense, by touching them. See, Komodo Dragon has resistant defenses, so... But with you, you're, you're squishier, so it hurts. Okay. So, um, so, yeah, you're actually physically damaging yourself by doing that. You're like, ow! So, um, but, and so you did that, well, how much knockout was it? I'm, I was distracted. Uh, 19. 19, okay. Excellent, so. Okay, good. So, uh, that brings us to 8, which is where he goes, um, and none of you do. Um, and, uh, yeah, the basilisk basically, you know, grates at you. And you know what? The, the vocoder or whatever it is that is, uh, been distorting the basilisk voice isn't working. And a very human voice says, raggedly taking you with me as they try to grab onto you and do as much damage to that damage field as they possibly can. 
Make a perception check. A 13. Which you get. Oh, shoot. With a failed grab by rolling a 15. That's the second failed grab from somebody with a damage aura. <laughs> All they have to do is get on you, or even when you hit them or whatever, and you're going to take the damage. And it's killing. It's it's destructive piercing damage. Or rather, Especially sorry, it's, it's, pier large. it's piercing damage, so it's really nasty. So yeah, grabbing the large guy and just basically burning into him is the precise tactic and another miss. Um, and so, but that is also burning the shit out of endurance too. So, um, yeah, they're endurance. But here's what you perceive: the voices of a young woman. Now, um, the uh, I, you know, I, I, I yet can, can I yell that out to them? Right. Okay. Sure. Um, and so uh, the next. Uh, The next action then is power start. All right. <clears throat> well, I have enough endurance. I'm going to teleport in and try to immobilize Basilisk. Excellent. Do so. Mm -hmm. So rolling to attack. I'm not sure if I attack the hex or the person. It's an area of effect, one hex. Oh, well, okay. oh, sorry, against DCV3. Area of effect, one hex. Go for it. Oh, okay. So we got a 12. I'm 11. So right, I'm no sure. problem. Um, just to be sure, advance, make a dexterity roll. Ah, so I don't catch other people. Right. Well, it is a it is, it is an area effect, and he's right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, on the, and, uh, and we yeah. know they're close enough because bas the basilisk just tried to make a grab. That's a six. I made it. Okay, good. So you, you see that coming and step out of the way so that the... Higgs boson rays do not actually catch you. So, um, so yeah, that that's locked the basilisk down. Um, A four body entangle. Mm -hmm. Four body entangle, no problem. Um, and so then, uh, Komodo dragon. Okay, am I? So am I one with the dray? Is this? Just tell me what you do, and I'll let you know. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I will attempt to heal the damage to the earth. Trying out new powers to see if they work sort of thing, huh? All right, then. All right. So uh, in this case, considering that special effects are king and all the rest of it, um, I want you to do uh, two things. One is, uh, again, an ego roll. And uh, for what you're trying to do, uh, we're going to treat this as strength. So go ahead and use endurance to use all of your strength. You are channeling. You, you, oh, so I'm okay. So I'm actually using my strength. Yes. To... Yes, and the ego roll is channeling it into some other sphere of effect. Okay. So seven. And the ego roll. Whew, success. Mm -hmm. So, so it's I roll. Been, well, no. Uh, well, in a sec, yes. But what I want you to do is to... Uh, no, you're not going to need to roll. It's just a feat of strength. So, however, it yeah. is going to cost you your aid endurance. Yeah. Uh, okay. Understood. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. getting low. And so, uh, then, on... Uh, right. So, what, what you do, basically, that's quite a lot. That's a lot of personal force to channel. Um, yeah. Between the effects that Power Star did before... And this, you guys can stabilize the the, the geothermic response. Okay. Um, advance, what do you do? The basilisk has been immobilized by Higgs boson field um, and is looking, if not as, you know, is more or less on their feet, but fairly immobilized and struggling against it. 
basically um, fighting against the distortion of reality that keeps them from going anywhere. I mean, if I if I was just to punch into this, it, would I become entangled as well? No. Stickiness is is a advantage on entangle, which I happen to forget. I have not yet put in all the options for entangle yet, but there are several. Sticky um, is one can, of them. Can I take half a phase to kind of get a good look at her? Right. Yes, while, you can. While, 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 mm -hmm. while she's sitting there. Yeah. And that's perception as well, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, that is an eight. So excellent. Um, you are all Mr. Energy, and you've been trying to like dope this out the whole time. Um, what you are looking at is uh, a person who. Well, I guess the only way to put it is that they have voluntarily hosted the basilisk. All right. The effect on their tissues for doing it is destructive. Oh. So you actually are seeing, probably seeing like the person's face. And if she's not merely the corpse left inside the will, the drive, and the intentions of the basilisk, and I'm not talking about the star bat or the space battery at all. But if there's anything left in there except broken up and no longer working parts of a human, you'd be surprised. When she said taking you with me, those were her last words. Okay. But there's still that basilisk sentence there. That, which is what the body, the silhouette, the body with the cape and everything and the crown, you're looking at it. So, so yes. feel bad for smashing. So I, I, you know, just so they don't think that I'm, I, I'm just like <laughs> right. committing this crazy murder. I go, this is just a shell. Mm -hmm. All right. Crazy two-hander. All right. All right. Go for it. Nice. Uh, crazy two-hander. Does that mean you're pushing your strength? Uh, sure. Excellent. I love it. Okay. Um, yeah, you have 25. Now you have 35 strength, 7 dice. Which is 5 plus 10, 15 do, endurance. Do, be, what, because she's immobilized, I, I automatically hit? Um, DCV 0. Ah, okay. So roll, and unless it's an 18 or less. Or unless it's an 18. That's fine. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, 7 dice. That's seven body. Uh, seven body and 20 knockout. It's kind of a, a weak, weak sauce roll, but that's what happens sometimes. Seven. Seven bodies, pretty nice. Yeah, no, it's not so well. The, the it bout the the basilisk has defense fifteen, so that body doesn't get through. But with all the hits you took, that is definitely down to uh, zero knockout. Um, and so that is the end of segment nine. Did I take any? Dis was that KO and strength destructive on me? Yes, it was. was. And the, okay. the, and the body you took was destructive as well. So you guys are genuinely fucking tissue hurt. Okay. You guys right. need medical help. That was, that, That's why I was so pissed at those grabs not getting in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys were up against a genuinely deadly opponent. Right. In this case. Um, so... Yeah, but with the with the with the spheres and the basilisk by themselves, two hundred and fifty points with a high ratio. Mm. Right, so that's that's the, the that's but, a yeah. pretty but substantial. 
What's yeah, the, the investment in actually killing is pretty high, right? Yes, it is, and, and that's why that you'll notice that what they could do is actually quite limited. Right, um, right, right. And, But more importantly, that side effects of destructive body damage to yourself. Yes. Basically, yeah. she's killing herself all the way down through that whole process. Yeah. Wow. So, um, but I will tell you this, before you guys have a chance to interact, we'll jump ahead in time a little bit. Guess what happens across radio and the internet all across the California coast? I'm the right. basilisk. The final, I'm the basilisk the now. Final. I'm the basilisk now. The basilisk lives. Uh -huh. We are us. We live yeah. on. We will win. Well, all, all the one followers? Of the, yeah. One of the powers of the basilisk is every time whoever it is uh, makes a roll and every time they take damage their presence leaps up so every one of those speeches that they made during the fight I was rolling the presence attack and they met they had, the, the last one was uh, when they, they swore they would go down fighting remember me mm -hmm. that was at 40 presence and gained at least 4 or 5 dice for the circumstances Wow. And the the other power was awareness usable by others expanded scope. Mm -hmm. So that meant everybody in that scope could right. perceive the presence attack. So that meant the whole population of potential alt right activists yeah. just got a presence attack of you know easily 11 dice 11 or 12 dice of inspiration and the basilisk can settle into one of them sooner or later that's great <laughs> that's that's, that's your hunted that's your hunted rod that's what Sorry, i do guys <laughs> well it's a good thing your annual comes up next that's right take care of yeah, this. Right. right right so um which is definitely boost is the sale of that's gonna be boosted by this guest star in this comic that's right, right. Well, that's the whole idea right this was the launch yeah, yeah. um but uh so anyway though the three of you are like you know oh my god what is this and trying to dope out what it is and what happened right. Komodo Dragon's babbling about, like, the spirit of the dragon, like he's Iron Fist or something. And so, yeah. you know, <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, that's, that's kind of what's, do you guys want to finish up in any, any kind of way? Even though I smashed it up, is there any, like, is there any, like, scientific components left on, on the Basilisk's, uh, corpse i guess um say. probably yeah i mean the the um the person who hosts the basilisk has to set up like receiving equipment to do it right so you can learn you there's you can learn how the basilisk you know clearly the information of how to do this is disseminated out there probably you know, online it, in some way you know and komodo i it, it, with your permission i could maybe analyze this stuff as he's like yeah. i could probably analyze because because once he shrinks back down he loses that extra body that's right yeah right. you're like oh my god i am he's, really freaking he's at, hurt he's at five body right now right, right. <laughs> i'm gonna say like i don't think you you need my permission this got way out of my pay grade yeah well yeah. I'll, I'll look at this and i'll send you a, a report on it okay you know what i think what komodo uh needs to do now is like he's gonna actually live stream the site and say you know like he's inspired he's like this was the basilisk this is the basilisk the basilisk is still out there it's it's an enemy that seeks division and strife and we you know i'm went to my base and we need to come together mm -hmm. like i don't think i don't think komodo dragon has 
seriously considered himself as a political figure before, but apart from this sort of rivalry, which he's been thinking of mainly as a publicity stunt, but I think he's now he's sort of like, whoa, I have to. I, I'm going to have to step up. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I really yeah, am. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I might even want to tell your older compatriots precisely that. Because I think they'd appreciate right. it. Right. Right. So, right. Cool. All right. I Mike, think, uh, Alan, uh, thoughts? Yeah, I was just going to say uh, Power Star can step in there into your video feed. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Say, I wonder what would have happened if Basilisk had succeeded in cracking open this uh, power mm -hmm. station. Perhaps our scientists here might have some comments. Right. Okay. Yeah. Advance? Uh, I'll tell you what would have happened. For 30 square miles, this would have looked like a hellish landscape of destruction. I should point out that Mount St. Helens is just right over the way. <laughs> right. In case you were interested, but... Yeah, this would have made that look like a walk in the park. Yes. Yeah. This would have been something really bad, and there are uh, there. Uh, I, I, I'm contemplating whether or not he would like knock geothermal energy. I, I don't think he would. I don't think he right. Would. Well, and also, I mean, the the you geothermal know, energy in this case is uh, it. I mean, in Bro. the real world. It does look as though the Templars really are just going to be a side effect. Right. I mean, famous last words, I hope not, but there isn't a fault. So, right. um, but, uh, but it is, it, it, it is, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, it really is, however, dangerous. It is, all energy management is dangerous. There isn't right. like the... The, the the sweet and wonderful sugary energy that if we just find it will be green forever you know all energy management is dangerous it just is it's, it's pressure it's, it's heat it's you know it... and and the other thing that's dangerous is the fact that this poor girl and I lift up the right. shell you mm -hmm. know think she, the basilisk is just there to use you mm-hmm until there's nothing left. Right. You are right. sacrificing yourself for mm -hmm. nothing. The uh, excellent. See, if, um, instead of a yeah. mic drop, it's a corpse drop. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. You can get it. You can give. I'll give you a pretty pretty nasty monologue on that one. That's, uh, ouch. What's your presence? Uh, too bad I'm not grown. Yeah, I know. That, that but, would be really yeah. great. But it's still, his presence is decent. Hold on. Presence uh, thirteen. So. Right. Well, that's three, three dice, dice, but you can roll. You can roll six. Believe me. Ew. Um, my take. Uh, oh, you can do the same, Rod. You can probably. What with your newfound whatnot, I'll give you plus three on your presence. Okay. Um, and uh, some journalistic backstopping will discover that Shelley Van Hoyt. Uh, had been trying to set herself up as kind of like the junior Ann Coulter of the Bay Area. Right, right. Um, was kind of where she was coming from. And uh, was... Um, yeah, so there's probably going to be like a like a whole journalistic show of, of her. But for some reason, they just... The journalists and the media cannot quite get it through their heads that no... She wasn't the basilisk, right? In the sense of the powers. Just so you guys know, I don't conceive of the basilisk as having a mind of its own. So the psychological disadvantages are a couple of things, like the fanaticism. But there's all, but there's an open psychological limitation. Oh, for whoever. For whoever it is. Yeah. Right. Maybe. So that's the idea. Um, so I, yeah. That's so me. if if the next person wasn't like the next person had different views that it would kind of well that particular views. brand of views is built into the basilisk 
that wow, is its okay. own psychological limitation. So it's always going to be, it's, that person has to make themselves available. They have to build the equipment from online, you know, uh, our, you know, our basilisk deal. There's probably a bunch of people doing that as we speak. Right. And so there are certain things, but the details of where the person is coming from and certain value judgment calls that they may make that will be person specific. Right. So, um, yeah, cool. Um, I, I rolled a 24 for that presence. Excellent. Okay. That's very strong. Yeah. Very strong guys. So yeah, you guys did a very nice job of messaging. Um, but, uh, but it's not like a 40 or anything. So you're really only yeah. going to be hitting the people who kind of are on the fence or thinking about yeah, it already. Right. Um, so <laughs> which, we just discovered, you know, the divided states right. really the basilisk, yeah. not even once. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, cool. All right. Well, anyway, that's, that's where it's going. Um, I think this was also a pretty good idea. I, I drew all kinds of diagrams about like all the different kinds of energy and I finally just decided to say it's mostly all the same thing. You know, so the 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 power star stuff goes in this way and the advanced stuff boosts it that way, the continuum wants to stop that. Komodo dragon taps it this way, you know, but it's all pretty much just one box. Otherwise, <laughs> you know, that's the only yeah, it's yeah. it's the only way I could to make the whole thing kind of kind of yeah. be playable um, right but uh but i think you know if you guys were to continue as a super team um that it's a pretty coherent set of things now by the way uh future advanced futures is going to receive a huge injection of venture funding as well as the promotion um, as financed by a woman named Elaine Liu, whom I mentioned, uh, in tandem with the ideas and the promotional savvy of a fellow named Aaron, uh -huh. <laughs> um, who's going to be, of course, you know, spinning it along the lines of his writing right. so far. And uh, that woman happens to be Jake Drake's mother. Yeah. So. Nice the connection. It's a little too much. It's all a little too tight and nice. Oh, but uh, that's Elaine just, is, is yeah. Jake Drake's mother? Right, exactly. Yeah, that's okay. Right. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's... You know, there, there's all sorts of places to go. This, this has turned into a very rich setting. There's a lot to play yes. with. There's, I mean, we could go back and look at the history of the Komodo dragon in Indonesia. Um, yes. Back in the 60s, we can... Uh, there, there's lots of fun things. I love some of the characters. I'm, it's killing me that I can't play like Denise for an hour. Um, especially with the side effects thing. Now that I know that that's what you want for her disadvantage. Right. Denise has side effects after having been with advance all these years when he thought his powers were gone. Um, and, uh, then you also have, um, you also have the the whole thing with. I'm I'm actually really enjoying making Aaron likable, and that makes Alan squirm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, this whole secret ID thing really it, rather it, challenging. Well, <laughs> it's it is interesting because it ultimately isn't mm -hmm. about. I mean, the, here's the neat thing. In many ways, having the disadvantage buffers you against being outed in a really public way. Think about it. If I, you're not in danger of losing your secret identity to the world at large because you have that disadvantage, you're not going to lose that disadvantage. You're going to keep that disadvantage. Oh, oh, yeah. So it's so, the same logic as... I paid the points for I got the points for it, and until I buy it off, I right. have that. You, right, so the yeah. secret identity will never be truly violated in the way that the hero fears. Mm -hmm. However, so it stops being about how can I protect them, my problem is how can I protect it. I mean, the character thinks that, and it's fun to play right. it, but you don't have to worry about it really. The problem becomes, whom do I tell? Yeah. 
that that's becomes already where the, I am. That's yeah, and that's what the disadvantage is really about. And that's that's exactly what happens in Spider Man. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much longer I'm going to do this particular game because of all the different playtesting I have to do. The fact that I would be, I'd really like to keep going is almost, it's almost the signal to stop, but I, I maybe, maybe a little bit more, maybe, maybe just one more. 